So what's up guys? Safe Moon. Let's talk about it a little bit. Well, my perspective on it is I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, you have guys like Josh Hart, JaVale McGee. Uh, you got Elon going live tonight on Saturday Night Live. What is he going to talk about tonight, right? Is he is he going to talk about Safe Moon? Is he going to talk about... Obviously, he's going to talk about Do Doge. That's, that's a given. He's definitely going to talk about Doge. But is he going to talk about other cryptos? You know, and some of these other people that are going to be on the show tonight, what are they going to talk about? This is going to be very interesting to see what actually happens with Safe Moon, especially because I'm very heavy in it, meaning hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in coins, or excuse me, hundreds and hundreds of millions of coins, not hundreds of millions of dollars, but it's such a new crypto. It incentivizes people for holding. There's a 10% transaction fee every single time that you sell SafeMoon and that gets distributed among the uh, holders. So the only way that you can actually get SafeMoon right now is a couple ways. The way I did it, I'm gonna talk about the way I did it, is buying it on uh, coin, we're buying Ethereum on Coinbase, for example, or Bitcoin, sending it to Bitmart and converting it to USDT, US dollars, and then buying a safe moon that way with USDT. So then I sent it to my trust wallet. And then when I sent it to my trust wallet, that's where it cures, um, uh, that's where it cures more coins based on the transactions that are happening in the network. So you're pretty much getting like, um, dividends every second. I'm getting like, I've gotten already 15,000 coins in the last, you know, I don't know, three, four hours. Uh, or excuse me, 20,000 coins in the last, I don't know. Um, what is it? The last, I don't know, let's say 18 hours, 19 hours. So another thing is this, SafeMoon incentivizes people that are holding. You're only gonna cure coins when you have it in a wallet taking it off of an exchange like a BitMart, etc. One thing I'm going to be clear is this. I had a little bit of safe moon. I'm an idiot. I hit somebody up in the BitMart Telegram chat. When you go to BitMart support, you go to the chat. Somebody hit me up saying, oh, I work at BitMart, blah, blah, blah. I need your wallet's stupid passphrase. I was an idiot. I'm in the software engineering world. I am dumb. Unbelievable. I've never done anything stupider than I did this morning. I sent them my passphrase. Next thing you know, my small amount of bit or my small amount of safe moon was gone. I'm an idiot. I thought they worked at Bitmart. I was wondering why it took five hours to do my transaction. It was because the network was so clogged up of so many people buying this thing. So my word of advice, if anybody reaches out to you in regards to safe moon or you're in a help chat or etc., they ask you for your wallet or your keys or whatever for your trust wallet or metamask or anything like that do not send it to them don't be an idiot like i was this morning other than that i'm good bought a bunch today got a new wallet everything's secure nicely we'll see what happens tonight saturday night live elon musk safe moon possibly doge all these other actors actors meaning celebrities etc Elon's not a celebrity. Elon's probably like the only one that's a tech dude trying to change the world that is a celebrity. But we'll see what happens. I think this may be one of the only times besides Doge where we missed out on. I didn't miss out on Doge. I made money. Um, but let's just say the $25,000 that I made in profit should have been around $220,000 right now. But anyways, profit's profit. Always taking taking profit is always good. So Safe Moon, go out, buy it. It incentivizes the bag holder. It incentivizes the person that's actually holding on to it and curing this in their wallet. And then uh, we'll see what happens. See you later. Or see you on the moon.